Imagine a battlefield not just filled with soldiers but also robots. How might this change the face of warfare? From the plains of Iraq to the rugged terrains of Afghanistan, the dawn of human-robot collaboration in ground combat is not a matter of if, but when. Robots, once the stuff of science fiction, are now becoming an integral part of military strategy. The Russian ground combat robot, Marker, for instance, has shown us a glimpse into the future. With its high-precision shooting capabilities, target detection instruments, and cognitive abilities that mimic human thought processes, Marker represents a new breed of war machines that could redefine modern warfare. On the other side of the globe, the United States is also making strides in the field of ground combat robots. The U.S. Army showcased the world's first armed four-legged combat robot dog and the TRX, a tracked combat robot armed with a missile patrol, at their annual meeting. These innovations are not just about packing more firepower. They're about enhancing combat effectiveness through robotics, artificial intelligence, and other technologies. The future trend in ground combat robots is AI cluster warfare, where multiple robots form a combat cluster, autonomously allocating targets and adapting to changing combat situations. This is not just a technological leap, but a paradigm shift in how we perceive and conduct warfare. But as we march onward into this brave new world, we must also grapple with the ethical and moral implications of these advancements. Can we trust these machines to make their own decisions in combat? How do we ensure that these technologies are used responsibly? These are questions we cannot afford to ignore. As we continue to advance technologically, the line between human and robot soldiers is becoming increasingly blurred. The march of the robots is not just a march into new technological frontiers, but also into uncharted ethical territory. But one thing is clear, the dawn of human-robot collaboration in ground combat is upon us, and it's changing the face of warfare as we know it. The US Army has a vision, a future where robots and humans fight side by side. The objective? To optimize both the technological prowess of robots and the decision-making capabilities of humans in combat. This concept, known as human-machine integration, is not just a pipe dream. It's actively being pursued, with the Army assembling a team specifically to tackle this challenge. Our military has already begun exploring the potential of human-machine teaming, utilizing drones, unmanned ground vehicles, and AI-enhanced decision aids. The focus now is on developing formations that combine ground and air systems, with the ability to work with other unmanned or manned systems. This isn't just an American endeavor. Countries all over the world, including Russia and China, are investing in AI-infused weapon systems, recognizing the potential of autonomous robots in enhancing combat effectiveness. Yet, as we move forward, we must also consider the ethical implications of this shift in warfare. As robots gain more autonomy, questions arise about the decision-making process, particularly when it comes to lethal assaults. Robots are no longer mere tools, they are becoming integral to our military strategy. From autonomous capabilities to AI-enhanced decision aids, the technology behind combat robots is evolving rapidly. Let's delve into the world of these technological marvels that are reshaping the battlefield. One of the major advancements in robotics technology is the integration of artificial intelligence. This has given birth to AI-infused weapon systems which can autonomously carry out lethal assaults. These systems are not only quick to react but also extremely efficient, significantly increasing the pace of warfare. The application of AI goes beyond just weapon systems. The world witnessed the power of AI in Russia's ground combat robot, the Marker. This three-ton behemoth, armed with high-precision shooting capabilities, has demonstrated the ability to autonomously allocate targets and adapt to changing combat situations, a testament to the immense potential of AI in warfare. The application of AI is not confined to large combat robots. On the smaller end of the spectrum, we have the world's first armed four-legged robot dog developed by Ghost Robot. Agile and equipped with a rifle and thermal imager, this robot dog shows how AI can be integrated into compact forms to increase versatility on the battlefield. In the realm of autonomous capabilities, the U.S. Marine Corps program CMOB has made significant strides. They successfully tested inflatable boats equipped with high-tech gear that can sense their surroundings and communicate with each other. This not only enhances their defensive abilities, but also shows the potential for autonomous swarm tactics in future warfare. Another notable technology is human-machine integration, a concept the U.S. Army is keenly developing. The aim is to leverage the best of both worlds, 
combining the cognitive abilities of humans with the precision and endurance of machines. This approach has already seen application in the form of unmanned ground vehicles and drones working in tandem with soldiers. As technology improves, so too does the potential of combat robots. The future battlefield may look vastly different from what we know today, with autonomous robots and AI-enhanced systems playing an increasingly dominant role. This rapid technological progression is not only transforming the face of warfare, but also shaping the future of global security. Robots are already making a mark on the battlefield, but what can we expect in the future? In today's military strategy, robotics play a significant role. From the Russian ground combat robot Marker, with its high precision shooting capabilities, to the US Army's combat robot dog developed by Ghost Robot, these machines have proven their worth in live combat scenarios. They're not just tin soldiers, they're equipped with advanced technology such as thermal imagers, target detection instruments, and even human-like cognitive abilities. On the other hand, ground robots aren't just for direct combat, they're also valuable assets in intelligence gathering and surveillance. The US military has developed numerous ground robots for reconnaissance and surveillance purposes, demonstrating the versatility of these robotic warriors. But it's not just about the present, the future of ground combat robots is looking even more exciting. One emerging trend is artificial intelligence cluster warfare. This involves using multiple robots to form a combat cluster, demonstrating their ability to autonomously allocate targets and adapt to changing combat situations. Russia, for instance, has conducted tests with multiple markers forming a combat cluster, planning to integrate such units into its army by 2025. The U.S. Army is also looking to enhance combat effectiveness through robotics and artificial intelligence. They're testing a suite of ground combat robots called Company Scale, aiming to make a single infantry platoon 10 times more effective in combat over the next decade. Moreover, the integration of humans and robots in fighting formations is a key focus for the U.S. Army. The goal is to optimize both human and robotic capabilities and reduce risk to soldiers. This human-machine integration is set to be a game-changer in combat scenarios. The future battlefield may be dominated not by human soldiers, but by their robotic counterparts. As technology advances, we can expect to see more autonomous, intelligent, and versatile robots on the ground, transforming the face of warfare as we know it. Integrating robots into military formations is not without its challenges. With the advent of technology, the battlefield is no longer just a physical space, but a complex network of interconnected systems. This presents a unique set of difficulties, from ensuring seamless coordination between humans and robots, to guaranteeing that these automated warriors can adapt to rapidly changing combat situations. Yet the US Army is not one to back down from a challenge. They are actively developing strategies to leverage the best of both worlds, the ingenuity of human decision-making and the precision of robotics. Large-scale experimentation is at the forefront of this strategy. The Army plans to conduct further trials during Project Convergence in 2024, with the aim of fielding initial formations within two years. But the journey doesn't end there. The Army's long-term goal is to have fully fleshed-out programs and cohesive formations by 2035 to 2040. This vision is not just about incorporating robots into the ranks, but transforming the way warfare is conducted. Overcoming these challenges will be key to realizing the full potential of combat robots. Looking ahead, the military has ambitious plans for human-robot integration. The U.S. Army is already working on developing cohesive formations of humans and robots, aiming to optimize both and reduce the risk to soldiers. The goal is to leverage the best of technology and human decision-making in combat. This means not just using robots as tools, but as team members, working alongside humans in the heat of battle. By the mid-20s, they plan to test a suite of ground combat robots with the goal of making a single infantry platoon 10 times more effective in combat. Russia, too, plans to integrate combat robot units into its army by 2025. The vision for the future is clear, a battlefield where human soldiers and robots work together, seamlessly and effectively. These integrated formations are expected to hit the field within the next decade with fully fleshed out programs and cohesive formations by the mid-30s to the 40s. By 2030, the battlefield may look very different than it does today. The march of the robots is not just a trend, it's a revolution in ground combat. We are witnessing a transformative shift as human-robot collaborations redefine modern warfare.
technological advancements in robotics are pushing the boundaries of what's possible on the battlefield. From Russia's ground combat robot, Marker, to the U.S. Army's focus on integrating humans and robots in fighting formations, the landscape of ground combat is rapidly evolving. This revolution brings with it immense strategic advantages. Robots are capable of precision, speed, and endurance far beyond human capabilities. They can take on high-risk tasks, reducing the danger to human soldiers. However, this shift also raises important ethical considerations. With the advent of autonomous combat robots, questions about accountability and decision-making in warfare become more complex. As we look towards the future, it's clear that ground combat will increasingly rely on robotic capabilities. Both the US and Russia plan to integrate combat robot units into their armies within the next decade. This shift is set to redefine ground combat, making it more effective, precise, and adaptable. The march of the robots signifies a new era in warfare. As we stand on the brink of this new era, one thing is clear. The future of ground combat belongs to the robots.